Whoa, whoa, whoa. Since when can Canadians have guns? Hey guys, Armand Gun here. Yes, we can have guns in Canada. Believe it or not, I'm coming to you from Canada, if you guys didn't already know. Um, we definitely have some funky laws up here, which I've had a lot of comments to do a video on, and I'm going to get to that pretty soon here. Uh, but this video is not just for Canadians, it's for all my viewers. Canadians, while awesome, only make up a small segment of my, of my total audience. Most of you guys down south in America down there, we're definitely envious of a lot of your shit, okay? Just gonna say that up front. You guys get some cool stuff, and you guys get to do a lot of cool stuff with that stuff. <clears throat> and we're working towards it. Working towards it. Um, just as you guys are fighting to keep it, and guys, keep going. Anyways, uh, this gun, not really part of my top five today. Well, not, not so much a top five. It's just gonna be five awesome guns that are semi-automatics that, uh, that Canadians can and should own if they're into guns. Again, no one should own guns that doesn't want to have guns. Not pushing that on anybody. But if you like guns, these are five awesome modern tactical firearms for y'all Canucks. All right? Cool, eh? This is actually one of them as well. This would be one of them. This is B&T's new APC 308 DMR. Uh, I'm just gonna, this thing's just on loan to me from Wolverine Supplies, which is their distributor in Canada, among with a bunch of other cool stuff. And I just wanted to, to lay this out here while I was giving my intro. I'm, I'm going to leave this one out of the, <clears throat> out of this, this top five or five guns video for now. But it is awesome. If you want to learn more about it, this was one of my gun of the weeks a little while back. So scroll on back, check the thing out if you want to learn more about this gun, including seeing it shot and seeing it in a bunch of different configurations because it is decently modular. That's all for this guy for now. Let's jump into it and patronize my American audience with uh, the number one gun that Canadians should own. Boom. AR-15. All right, just going to prove this sucker clear really quickly. And then this one is the A5, 416 A5 almost with the ambi controls. Um, the only differences between this and the, and the real deal, as far as I'm aware, I mean, they're semi-auto 416, so this could apply, but it's civilian roll marked MR-223 and it has a non-adjustable gas block. So those are the two the two differences between this and the uh, what the government agencies can order. Anyways, <clears throat> yes, Canadians can own AR-15s, and they are freaking cool. They're in a different type of class of guns. Along with SBRs, we do have SBR laws as well. And again, as I mentioned, I've had a lot of interest in a laws video. The thing is, our laws are so complicated and confusing that I want to present it in a real real light and breezy manner, so I'm trying to really work it through and make it simple. So I'm working on that on the side that's going to come out um, sometime this year. I'm going to do a video on Canadian gun laws, as they are right now. Anyway, so we can own these things. They're just, they're, they're, we can do less stuff with them, basically. But you can still do lots of fun stuff with them, like shooting competitions, taking to the range, that kind of good stuff. Um, again, done a gun of the week of this thing on as well, if you want to look back and watch that. These awesome magazines, courtesy of... Cross mags, if you guys are in a banned state or non-gun friendly state with uh, 10 round magazine capacity limits, these things are awesome. Just gonna say that. So yeah, super cool gun. Uh, AR-15s in general, you don't need to go all Gucci like this thing, but I would recommend having an AR-15 because there's just so much you can do with them. And uh, my second gun, or my second gun category, I'm gonna treat more, more like that, um, is gonna explain a little bit more why. But uh, HK mil spec, or sorry, AR-15 mil spec, go for it. They're awesome. And this, by the way, is not a silencer. Canadians are not, at this point in time, allowed to own suppressors, I should say. This is a blast deflector by B&T. Very awesome, awesome little unit. Although also, some guys get upset when I clear with the magazine in it. So we'll do the clear with it out as well. All right, gun number two. Gangster carried from my waist, which is about all I can do with it in my house. <laughs> Again, some whacked up laws with handguns in Canada. Can't conceal carry these, can't have these in your car for self-defense, but you can play with them in your house. <laughs> and you can take them to the range, you can do for competition shooting, all that kind of stuff. And if you're, if you're lucky, if you're a trapper up north, uh, and the threat of being eaten by a wild bear or cougar is uh, imminent, you can allegedly get licensed to have a handgun on you. So that's cool. Almost makes it worth being a trapper just in itself. Anyways, I'm being a little, uh, 
a little lighthearted about that. Anyways, uh, this gun, chambered in 9mm, Breda M9A3. Again, not quite part of this video because I, might, I'm, I kind of intended this to be semi-automatic rifles, but it's still a semi-automatic, and I think every Canadian that's into guns should try a handgun and potentially own one because they are so much fun. Shooting dynamics of a handgun is so much different from that of a rifle. You guys, you just got to give it a go. It's... Uh, I got my mom into shooting, um, shooting a handgun, and my uncle as well. My uncle basically came out to the range through one day. I gave him some handguns, and then I bumped him up to to a AR type gun, and he loved it. And he's been kind of the non shooting kind of guy for a long time. Like yo, know, he hunted when he was little or younger. He hadn't shot a gun in about ten years, and he's used to rifles and things like that. And kind of doesn't see why people need to own this kind of stuff. And now he's gonna go for his license for his, his R-PAL, which basically gives him access to everything I have. So that was awesome. And that was after 15 minutes on the range shooting three guns. So you guys just give it a go. It's so much fun. Anyways, while we're on the nine mil pill, I'm gonna recommend, prescribe Dr. Armor Gun to get yourself a little PCC. This one, MPX in nine mil. Oh man, this thing is so much freaking fun to shoot. Due to its its uh, closed uh, bolt, it's it's a locked breech. Sorry, not closed bolt. It is closed bolt. I should just really quickly prove that and bump my camera. Um, this thing is wicked. I love it. It's it's got a locked breech when it closes. It's got a kind of a pistonish system up front here. Runs pretty clean. Just unbelievably cool. This is like the AR-15 of PCCs, and they even fixed it while they were at it. Uh, again, it runs in 9mm, though you can get conversion kits for, I think, 40 Smith & Wesson and 357 SIG, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is a Gen 2, so it's compatible with those caliber conversion kits. I'm really, I can't wait. I'm going to get the Shorty, the 4 or 4.5 inch barrel, M-Lock handguard, of course. I've got to keep up with all you guys now that the industry switched and go that route. But uh, the 8 inch barrel is still a lot of fun to shoot. This is the older teles regional telescopic um, barrel, or sorry, uh, stock, which is still a lot of fun. I still really enjoy it. These magazines are expensive. They're Lancer though, so you're getting a good mag. Um, and this is actually, especially if you're going to run a telescopic stock, you guys go with the Radian. Radian Raptor charging handle. They make it one for they make one for this guy, they make one for the MCX. And let me tell you, the little the little factory guy, the little nubs, barely, you can barely get them past this thing. It's always a knuckle dragger. So if you're gonna go with this stock, even in general, this is just, I felt this just, having a charging handle that I could get a little more grip on, it just made the whole action feel slicker and smoother. And this does have a really slick, smooth action. And I'm talking about these guns too much. So if you wanna learn more about this gun, it was a gun of the week back in the day. I've got shooting videos, assembly videos, talking videos. Go check those out if you want to learn more about this. Quick little shout out, Kinetic Development Group, side lock mount. I use this mount all the time, especially in my shooting videos. It is super handy and it's got a nice little tight lock up that for me holds zero pretty well. I haven't really tested that out to distance, but for what I do mostly right now, uh, it's working fantastic. So that's your PCC element. Now, um, I got actually out of order. I wasn't supposed to do this one yet. I was supposed to do this one later. But this is what happens sometimes when you run these things without a script. I was supposed to jump in right after the AR-15. I mentioned other reasons why ARs were important in Canada. And it's because now we have a ton of alternate AR-15s, alternative AR-15s, AR-10s. Um, we've got alternative AKs up here, basically. But the alternative AR-10, that was very bad. I bumped something and something fell. And I'm kind of sad about it right now because I probably scratched something. Oh, I hate that. Anyways, that was, that was sorry, that was off camera. Um, alternative AR-15s that are not AR, they're not mil-spec receivers, but they take all mil-spec parts and it's amazing. And it has really opened up the, uh, the Canadian market for building ARs. And this is one that I recently did a video series on. Again, it was a gun of the week. This sucker here is made by ATRS. It was one of the first guns on the scene in this alternative AR market. But as you can see, we're clear, we're clear. Um, it's got this different little swoop down here, right? So 
It's not a mil spec AR. It's no rear receiver pin. You can't swap this with other AR-15 receivers, which is a big part of the reason what determines whether a gun is an AR-15 in Canada or not. These alternative guns, though, take AR parts. This one takes a slightly modified barrel, but basically an AR-15 barrel. Uh, lots of cool stuff. This one, again, is a slightly modified because it's also a side charger, which is super slick. Um, just really good stuff. Really good stuff. Really cool. So they've got them in the 5.56 variety with those awesome AccuTac bipods. Love these things. Just going to leave that there for you guys. And then we've got the AR-10 version. This one's called the ATRS Modern Hunter. This one being the Modern Varminter. Oh, this thing is, is awesome. Again, we are, we're clear up in here. Uh, also want to say black label bipod. These guys, I know that Canadian made product, it's a handguard with integrated bipod. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, due to the popularity of the alternative AR-15 video, I'm gonna do an alternative AR-10 video pretty soon. They're pretty, pretty sweet. Zero compromise scope. If you haven't heard of these guys, Go check them out. This is like a super Gucci optic, especially from PRS. Do yourself a favor. Check that out. In Canada, go big tactical, zero compromise optic. Those are your guys. Anyways, that's the AR alternative, alternative ARs. And now there's even two more. This company made another version that was more of a builder kit, as did another company called Maccabee Defense. They released the SLR. And that thing, it's basically a receiver set for AR-15 stuff. This is not a mil spec, but it takes all the parts, all the parts. So now Canadians can customize their own guns. The big thing is that the alternative status is that you can actually run non-restricted guns when you have a long barrel. We need at least 18.5 inches, which these guys are, are 18.6 or something like that. Then you can run them and it's awesome. So that was, that was category four, category four in this, in this video. And finally, we're gonna end off with another non-rifle that's a semi-automatic and that's super badass and awesome that you should own. The Benelli M4 Tactical. This thing is just so much fun. Uh, my shooting video on this is now one of the most popular videos. Oh, it's so cool. So freaking cool. And I would recommend throwing a red dot on it because shotguns with red dots, especially semi-autos, are just a lot of fun. I uh, lots lots of people ask me how I lay this thing out. B and T handguard, um, side saddle. I don't know. I think it's an MFT tactical, something like that. But those ghost ring sights are fantastic. The only gun that I would take over this thing for a semi-automatic would be a Fostech Origin 12. Uh, those things are just all kinds of wickedly awesome. And I really want one, but they're not yet legal in Canada. Um, but I'm working on <clears throat> working on that. Anyways, Benelli M4 tactical. This thing's just a ton of fun. Uh, chambered in 12 gauge, of course, and these things are known with their Argo uh, gas system. They just, oh, it's it's just it's just awesome. They just cycle stuff. Like they go from birdshot to to slugs. Just same. They just you run them in the tube next to one and next to another, and they're they're fantastic. Uh, I would recommend an extended charging handle because it's a nice and little beefy thing here. Makes it really easy to grip. It makes it feel less. Um, heavy, though it is pretty light and slick. I would recommend that. I would also recommend um, an enhanced bolt release. Just this one is pretty simple. You you lock it back. You can really easily just wrap your fingers around. You see the factory one there? It's really little, this little nub right there. I'd recommend going with the whole flap just because, uh, well, it's super easy and convenient. Cool. Anyways, that's uh, that's that gun. Now I got your bonus gun, and well, you guys saw that gun on the front of the screen, right? When I first started. Well, this isn't it, but this is also super awesome. This is especially for Canadian. Well, this is if you're American too. Like, honestly, Americans get with the program on this gun. The X Robinson Armand XCR is so freaking cool, and also it's a drum magazine. Um, with apparently some stuff rattling around inside. Magpul D50, really cool drum. Though in Canada, really pointless uh, for reasons that are very evident and sucky. But they don't have, as most drums do, don't have, they don't have a last round bolt hole open. But that's fine because the XCR has amazing ergonomics. Check that out. 
This is your bolt catch and release, and it's ambi and it's perfectly mirrored. You've got AR like um, catch release. You've got a 45 degree short throw safety, which is freaking awesome, and a pretty decent trigger. Uh, long stroke piston, kind of like an AK, uh, but it's got a regulator up here, which is which is which is nice. You can you can adjust the gas block. This is a Gen 2, or I guess a Type 2 gun. Uh, and there's now a Type 3 gas system, which is flush. You can have it underneath the handguard. You can have the handguard coming out further. Just all kinds of awesome. And this is obviously a restricted gun. This is in 308, which is this big bad boy. And, uh, well, it's fantastic. Okay, just take my word for it. I got a video series on this thing as well, the, the bigger brother of it. Just the, the non-restricted full-length rifle version. You can get guns that take 223, 55, or sorry, uh, yeah, 556, 762 39, 6.5 grand, all sorts of cool caliber conversion kits, and they're super easy to do. Quick change barrel, they're just unbelievably easy to you know access and maintain. Like they're just fantastic, fantastic weapon system and super underrated, and apparently super accurate as well. So just uh that's that's your spiel. And finally, now this is this is what I'm super pumped about. I showed you, I teased this at the very start of the start of the video because I had to give you guys something to, I had to give you guys a hook, right? Well, I wasn't gonna not show you it again because you guys would uh, flame me out for that. But this gun here just got it. Holy balls! Um, HK. This is a 417, and this is a GLM uh, 40 mil. Basically, this thing is a super crazy artillery 50 BMG machine gun. And, uh, you know, you just throw one of those in, in there and it comes out the other end, you know, so pretty, pretty dangerous. Probably shouldn't have this thing. Yeah, I'm kind of being weird, but no, this thing is actually awesome. And this is totally civilian legal, though. Both elements of this are restricted, which means I need a special license. Kind of ish. Same thing for a lot of this other stuff. Uh, but it is registered to my name. 417 is obviously only a semi-automatic, but it is super awesome and 40 mil. While it's super cool, I can only shoot basically rubber bullets and chalk bullets with it or projectiles. I can't actually, no, nothing um, explosive is allowed in Canada. So, so this is totally on the up and up and the government already knows I have it. So don't bother coming, knocking down my door for it. Um, but this is super awesome and I'm super pumped to have this thing. Finally, it took a long time to get it registered uh, from when I heard my buddy was working on it for me. I think it just wound up on someone's desk in the wrong pile and then it took extra long. So anyways, also before you rag me out for the placement of this L can being a little bit forward, it does work pretty decent eye relief on this thing though. I should have it back further. I just really want to have that drum on there, which I'm now regretting and I'm going to take off. But for none other reason than that, I uh, have it where it is. So that's it. That's the video for today. Probably a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but there you go. Five cool guns. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight guns, nine guns, ten if you include this thing. Four Canadians. I give you guys lots of value on this channel. So please, guys, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more. Tons of cool stuff coming this year. And actually, in the next few months, I'll be shooting this thing. I'll be shooting this thing and all these other things. If you haven't seen me shoot them already, I will be shooting them as well. So cool beans, guys. Catch you next time. Armored Gun out.